everyone, let us hear from Wild Time Gamers, and today I'm back with another Elite Dangerous video. Why? Because Elite is finally going to be released um, on December 16. That's that's exciting. Right now it's, it's still in gamma phase. The last time I played it was in beta, which was a couple of months ago. And back then it was fun. And right now in Gamma, it's even more fun. They added a lot of things. It's much bigger. And they improve on a lot of things too. So right now I'm using the Hauler, which is a trading ship. Just because I just want to get money. Enough credits for my Viper, which is a pretty cool combat ship. Combat oriented ship. I mean, all ships can do trading and combat, but different ships do different things better I guess so trading gonna buy some stuff to trade uh, tobacco is pretty maybe I'll trade tobacco yeah this is probably my last haul and I shall buy my viper after this so go to oh I mean the Aravit system actually which is pretty good system to trade but compared to previously like the economy gets uh, affected by what you trade and I don't profit as much during my normal trade runs because the demand is not so high anymore which kind of sucks that's pretty realistic, I guess. I know, I just love this. Just taking off from the space station. It's so cool. Let's go. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Sound effect is kinda loud though. But that's another thing, the sound effects in this game is amazing. It's just so good. It's wonderful. This game is just brimming with quality despite being despite being an indie game. But it's so good. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Mm, so I'm going to wrestle ring to trade my tobacco. I did upgrade my cargo, but initially the hauler holds a uh, eight. 8 slots of cargo but I upgraded it to 18 so my profits just skyrocket with that extra cargo it's pretty nice and they finally added the ranks and all this information like you can see my trading rank is peddler you start with penniless as a trader and for explorer you start with aimless and for combat you start with harmless and I haven't done much combat yet because I'm still waiting for my combat ship which I should get pretty soon I'm nearing the Russell ring it's gotta slow down oops Previously, you used to get interdicted a lot, like a lot. It's, 
it was quite annoying how much it got interdicted. But I guess they fixed that because I don't get interdicted as much. Especially when we are approaching the like, space station. I mean, logically, if you're going to approach the space station, you would slow down, right? And interdictions, the way you submit to interdictions is you either slow down or you don't uh, do the interdiction in the game. And I always get interdicted when I'm approaching space stations because I slow down. That's not really fair. Okay, what's the ring? What's the ring? Oh, I can't wait to get my sh new ship. successful engines disengaged I've been trading and docking and trading and docking so much it's pretty easy to dock by myself I didn't buy the docking computer okay tobacco I'm gonna sell my tobacco and like you see uh, I was trading like a few days ago and tobacco used to be in this system, sorry, in this station, the demand used to be high, but now it's medium. Because the economy is affected. I guess other players have been trading thi at this place also. But I used to get like 14,000 credits, now I just get 12,000. Uh, it's kinda, kind of a bummer, but oh well. So I have 290,000 currently, and you know what? I'm, I'm gonna buy my ship. Because that's what. I've been waiting for all this while. But first of all, here's the hauler by the way. It's a pretty cool ship. As you can see it's pretty fat and doesn't look intimidating because it's a trading ship. But I'm gonna buy the Viper and which is did they sell the Viper here? Yes they do. Okay, for now I'm gonna sell uh, wait, how do I sell? Okay. Okay, I will sell my current ship and buy the Viper. And confirm. The Viper is finally mine. Uh, let's see. Let's take a good look at the Viper first. Oh wait, wrong. Oh, while I'm here, they, they added a few new ships like the Adder, which I think is a trading ship. So, Lacon Type 9, what's the Type 6? They had that before. Like, uh, they also added um, the Federal Dropship, the Imperial Clipper, the Orca, uh, the ASP. There's quite a number of ships. Let's look at the Viper. Woohoo! Look at that. That is that's really nice. Right now, because the Viper is oh, I mean, look at that. That's wow. Oh shit! Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna put a skull. I'm just gonna use this paint job. Oh, I didn't realize I had it. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I made some buffer uh, money just to 
outfit my Viper properly. Like, it's a combat ship, so make sure I don't use shitty weapons. Uh, small hard point. The railgun is super expensive. Buy one. I do want a railgun. <laughs>
because of the speed difference of the ships. It's quite something. So, once again, my mission now is to go to Seoul, which is that's the path, the orange line. And as you can see, Seoul is super far away. It's there, right there. 74 light years away. And once I get there, it's gonna be awesome. So, for now, I'll have to go off and make sure I don't get. Uh, <laughs> just, ah! Uh, the, co the cobra just now. I nearly had him, and then they totally stole my kill. He probably was like maybe a few thousand credits. It's not fair. It's not fair. But I hope you've enjoyed that. I kind of did. And I'll probably make another video when I'm in Seoul. Which would be awesome. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.